Hey guys, we're Sal and Al, the Wool Slayers. Welcome to episode 16. Yay! <laughs> and we are here. It is um, the Monday after U.S. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I did. We had fun. We went down to to Phyllis in Houston, and she cooked up a big old feast, and we had a great time. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we stayed local. We went to my sister-in-law's brother's house. And had Thanksgiving, and then we did a staycation at the Gaylord Texan, which is just over in Grapevine. It's like kind of halfway in between mm -hmm. our houses. We had a good time. It looked like it on trying Instagram. To <laughs> make memories with the kids. Yeah. Um, but they had a good time. Um, I'm Sally. And I'm Alan. Um, you can find me as Sally Wren on Ravelry. And I am Alan Loves Yarn on Ravelry. And we have a Wool Slayers podcast is our Instagram handle. And we have a Facebook page, Sal and Al the Wool Slayers. Mm -hmm. So you should join because we post fun free patterns that show up and, you know, just our knitting and super fun. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to remind everyone to um, sign up for the retreat mm -hmm. if you're interested. There's a couple of spots left. Maybe. We're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> As of last Tuesday, there were two spots left. Mm -hmm. and But we have about 10 friends who want to still want right. to go. So. Right. And we will start a wait list. And the yeah. wait list will, will be so that we can open up more rooms. It mm -hmm. won't be waiting for somebody to drop out. So, um... So sign up for the wait list if you don't get a room. And yeah. hopefully we'll, we'll be able to, out. to get more rooms opened up for us. And the retreat date is may 18th 19th and 20th mm -hmm. of 2018 <laughs> you know because at some point somebody far far in the future might go back and watch all our old yes episodes yes <laughs> and get really confused yes. <laughs> um and the <laughs> location is camp allen in navasota and you can register i'll put all the information down here on the bottom and um, the link will be in the show notes mm -hmm. And we're looking. But we're excited. Like, we've got a good group so far. And yeah. And don't worry, it's not all people that know each other. Mm -hmm. There's there's people coming that um that don't know anybody else yeah. is coming just because it's a great location and a fun group of people. And if you if you want to fly in, um, Camp Allen is offering. You can tell them that you need a ride from the Houston airport, and for a fee, they will they will bring you to the resort, which I think is very cool. Yeah, because you're like, I don't want to renting a car, and then you don't even need it for three days. Like that. Yeah, right. so you don't have to do that. Right. What else? I think that's Just all. Get the into admin. it. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Yeah. Do you have any fails? Kind of. Oh no. It's a continuation of the previous fail. Oh no. That I want to show because I did so much work. So, my green sweater. Okay. That I was Is gonna frog? frog. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I know. How many skeins did it start as? Two and a half. And it's like 17 balls. <laughs> did you count? No. There's so many balls. <laughs> More balls, Sally. More balls. This it's, time they're it's green. all about the balls. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. No. <laughs> That's just tragic it's so oh tragic oh my god now the good thing is that i have one and a half full skeins of it and the dress and the sweater that i want to make has stripes so okay what i'm thinking i'll do is i'll use the full skein are you making and alternate the, the vera it's not breathing space it's laneway the, the longer one mm -hmm, okay. the longer one and um and those, so, all those balls are killing me. That is but such a lot I of ends. I have to stripe anyway. I know. You know? But, but I think what I'll do is I'll use the the main skein, the whole skein that I have, and alternate these every other row. What's the fiber content? Merino. Could you spit splice it? I don't think so. No? I don't think. Uh, maybe, but I don't think so. It feels very... It's very twisted and it doesn't feel very fibery. I don't think it's super wash. I don't think. Um, if it's super wash, it won't spit splice. Right. I don't think it's super wash, but I don't think there's enough of it to spit splice. Like it's so thin. 
It's Let the me light it fingering. Okay. Let me try it. Okay. You could, that would save a lot. <laughs> that right. would be much better. If anything, I think the Russian join might be good. Oh, but that's so much harder to it's me. Not the, it, it's it not takes that longer. Hard. It's not that it's hard. It takes longer. Spitfall seems so fast. That's why. Yeah, that's true. But it, um, if I can't spit slice, I think I will Russian join now that we're talking about yeah. it. I hadn't thought about it yet. Um, because what I found with this, and it could have just been that the gauge was so loose, it was mm-hmm. really hard to weave in the ends invisibly. Yeah. Because they it would show mm-hmm. it was hard. So it's, that's what I worked on. I feel like they look like dinosaur eggs. <laughs> I have no words for what that is. Like it took a good couple of that hours. That hurts me. It hurts. <laughs> yeah. Well, because most of it was because it, it was mo- it yeah it, eaten. it was eaten, so it ended. Right. So it ended, but then I had the next to begin with. It wasn't like I had to go pick and find and all that. Wow. I know. I just I knew it was going to be a lot of different pieces, but that's a lot. Right. I know. <laughs> oh. So it's done. Yeah. Are you gonna like freeze it or anything, or do you think it's bug-free? no? It's I already I already froze it. Oh okay. And I didn't put it in a car trunk when it was hot. I probably yeah, should but do that. Yeah, but we froze it. Well, supposedly with moths, it doesn't always really. Yeah, but it's been in a bag for a good couple. So that of suffocates. Months. Supposedly that doesn't happen either. Good lord. I know. It's been a couple of months, and no new holes were in it. So I'm the they're gone. They're gone. They're not eating it anymore. Man, yeah. what a mess. I know. I think it's carpet beetles. And, and our friend Amber had the same problem. Mm-hmm. And hers get, looked very similar. Yes. It, oof. So to get rid of carpet beetles, because we have an exterminator that comes every quarter. Okay. He said it, we have to be out of the house for four hours, and he was doing it during Thanksgiving break. Like he came that. Monday or oh the God. Friday before something. Anyway, I was like, bombed it or something. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. He sprays <laughs> the stuff oh, and yeah, it's probably. so toxic for yeah. four hours that you can't be in there. But I am gonna have him do it soon. I, I don't keep any other yarn on the floor. It was kind of yeah. weird that that was on the floor. Yeah. But I, I do. It doesn't I, hurt. I keep all my stuff in this. But they're in bags. They're in project bags. I mean, most for the most it, part. Yeah. That's what's, I'm because say. the Beatles didn't get anything that was in a project bag. That was the only thing that was on the floor. And then I used to have a pair of slippers that I knit that I kept on the floor in my closet. And, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, I took them on a trip one time because I didn't wear them all the time. Yeah. But I took them on a trip as like hotel floor slippers and they were all holes. So, oh. um, and I was like, what happened here? And I came back home and was looking at all my right. other woolens in that closet and nothing. So I think it's just, they're only on the floor. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I'm glad that, that you. That was my fail. I know. Frogged it, but. Um, I for, we forgot to talk about what we were wearing. Oh, let's talk about it at the end. Cause it okay. le- kind of leads into something that we wanted to talk about. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. With this one. Okay. Going. Um, I didn't have any fails except Yay! I just I didn't have a ton of knitting time <laughs> right but I did make a ton of progress um I had a bunch of time leading up to Thanksgiving and then like Thanksgiving and then Friday and Saturday I hardly knit at all mm. yeah because so, you were at the Gaylord mm-hmm. and I took like my sock around and I did mm-hmm. you know but, but there's just not a lot of time like I was picturing us you know sitting in the hotel at night and like me knitting and that didn't happen like we were just so busy 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 yeah, they have um, lots of activities there for oh kids god. and yeah. Oh my god. Like <laughs> exhausted. Yeah. So tired. But we had so much fun. Um we went snow tubing and ice skating, which I was nice. like which I have not done since I was I've done it one other time before and I was like nineteen and Mitch made me go. Oh He's my really gosh. good. Did you grow up going ice skating? Yes. He played hockey. Oh. Um you know, he's a Yankee. They, yeah. But even when they moved here, they still um, played hockey. And one of his brothers was really good. He was the captain of the team and everything. So Mitch gets out there, and he hasn't skated in since that one time when we were 19 either. Oh, my gosh. And he just gets out, and he's, like, practically triple sow cowling out there. And <laughs> I'm over here, and, and they have these little bears on skis oh. that you can, so, like, the kids can hold on to them. So I have one, and you it has a seat on the front. So I was like, sit down. So it looks like I'm just pushing you. <laughs> but really, I need this thing to keep me from falling. 
I was just proud of myself for even trying. Right, right. Because like 60 pounds ago, I would have been like just sitting on the sideline taking pictures. Really? So at least I like, you know, Got and I did the snow tubing. I went down the ice slide. I never uh-huh. would have done any of that. That's awesome. The snow tubing is what I want to do. Oh, it's so fun. Was it like you just kept going as much as you wanted to or you had time slots? Well, they give you a wristband that has four rounds, but one round is three slides. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. So 12 slides, you could get a lot in. Yeah, it's super fun. When you go down, it's just like this rush of cold air. And I said, oh, I need that every morning. Like, that was so refreshing. (laughs) It was really fun. Um, I was a little sore. From hauling like the tube, my arm oh, hurt. Oh right. And my legs felt weird after skating, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and see, I grew up in Houston, which you wouldn't think that I would yeah. ever ice skate in Houston, right? But the Galleria. Yeah. The Galleria had an ice skating rink I all could, year round. I could roller skate like a pro, man. Yeah. Like I could do all kinds of tricks on roller skates. Yeah. But it's kind of like I could also water ski, but I've never been snow skiing. Oh, you know, so uh-huh. I like I've never done the winter version. <laughs> right, right, right. But it was fun. And once I got the like I put Amelia on the bear and I was holding it, like I could really actually skate, you know, and uh-huh. I felt like I was actually doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but because it was like warm and so it's freezing, it mm-hmm. kept like kind of you could t- it was really bumpy ice because it was constantly right. refreezing. freezing, but right. anyway. Right. Sorry. Tangent. So my <laughs> only finished object. We're on to sleighs, right? Yes. Okay. Sleigh. My only sleigh is teeny tiny. I said an ornament. It's an ornament. Oh, I saw this on Ravelry. It's a knitting basket. It is so cute. Is that for the exchange? It's for the exchange, <gasps> yeah. I just love how you put the gingerbread yeah. man in there. I found a little button. It's a button. <gasps> and it's a gingerbread man. That is so cute. Is it focusing? No. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Still not. Whatever. And it's got um, yeah. So it's got like three little balls of yarn, and oh. I made little tiny knitting needles. How did you make those? Toothpicks and beads. <gasps> so cute. And then a little gingerbread man. I, I wasn't gonna do the ginger gingerbread man, but I was like, it's not very Christmassy, mm. and so I. I stuck him in there. It's all glued in too. Um, it is because I was perfect. Because it was like if you pack this away, like uh-huh. who's to say you're gonna end up with your knit with your balls <laughs> next Christmas? <laughs> you know, like that's, why? Oops. Why can we not stop this? Because <laughs> I'm twelve. Um, like those would totally fall out. So I just went ahead and glued them. So I made the little basket and this is based off of the pattern that we're going to put here because yeah. I totally remember <laughs> the name, <laughs> but I feel like mine's much better than the theirs. <laughs> toot your own horn there, Sally. Toot, toot. <laughs> pat, pat, toot, toot. <laughs> um, like their basket was taller. Mm. And so I made mine wider, which I like better because the whole point is what's inside. Right. Right. And so I just use this, super junky I mean I've used the same ball of that I got for free from some event it's like a lion brand acrylic or something but it's so but it looks like a basket and then I threw in this is like some nitpicks that I oh the green I think dyed with food coloring like two years ago and the red was actually really nice stuff is it Malabrigo Rios um I think it was Rio's. Is Rio's a single ply? I don't know. I don't know. It's a single ply red um, from Malabrigo. And the white is just, I don't know, sock yarn or something. And um, because it was mainly just about the colors. And then, yeah, so these these two actual yarns are these stripes, which the the pattern doesn't have stripes. I just added those. And. um, Oh, it doesn't have stripes? Mm-mm. Oh, it's perfect. I just with made stripes. that up, and I changed, like I said, I changed the shape of mine too. Theirs was more like tall and skinny, mm-hmm. which I was like, you can't see inside it, or you have to stuff it. Yeah, inside. and so, yeah. Um, and I did have to. I put a little bit of this yarn. I just wadded it up in yeah. the bottom, and then glued these. I glued. I rolled them up into balls, glued them shut so that they oh. didn't unravel. Then I glued them into the basket, mm-hmm. and then these is a, just two beads on two. Th- I, we had these multicolored toothpicks, so I picked the red ones nice. out, and I glued gold beads on them, and then I just barely put a tiny bit of glue on them and stuck them in that yarn, 
So none of it, and then I glued the button in there too. Oh, that's adorable. So none of it's gonna fall out. And this is for our ornament exchange with our knitting group. That is just adorable. I liked it. It was fun. I mean, it was like literally one, just one evening, you know. Right. So awesome. Yeah. So you know. Well, I have an ornament. You do? Yes. Cool. I was inspired by Sally. Uh oh. You saw me. Oh, I know. Yeah. Gush over her snitch last week. Show me your snitch. <laughs> We cannot go into explicit. <laughs> so I made oh, a snitch. Oh, you finished it? I finished it. Man, it takes like a day. I yeah. mean, not even a day. Yeah. And a couple of hours. Not, I don't it know. It looks it was good. So fast. Um, I put wire in mine. I need to. I like that much better. Um, and I gave it to my children um, on they Thanksgiving. Love they loved it. And I was just... So grateful they knew exactly what it was. Yes, right? Like, <laughs> like I don't want you being like, what's that? What is this? <laughs> because no, I didn't make it good. right. So, um, I like that yours has sparkle in all of it. All of it. So, this is, so it's all, I use the same color or the same yarn as Sally. And Zula did Nebula the, Sand? No. All natural. All natural. Sand right. is my, in my other project. <laughs> and then the, so this is also a trophy because. <laughs> I had to, go buy some... had to go buy yarn. <laughs> so I went to Waco for the weekend before Thanksgiving with my mom and Zane. And it's such a good color. My mom took Zane and Cade home with them, with her. And so driving home, I was by myself in the car. And the way the highways are, when you're coming up from Waco, you're on 35, which then splits to go off to Fort Worth. Or splits go off to the right to Dallas, where, you know, I'm closer to Dallas, so yeah. I usually go to the right. And I You're looked like, at my trip navigation, and I'm like, can I get can I get to West 7th Wool before they close? <laughs> and um, and I could. I could get Yay. there by 4.30, but then I had to use the restroom. <laughs> so I stopped, and I got there by 4.45. Still, um, still good. Yes, but I called if them first. If you knew first. exactly what you wanted, like, that helped. Yes. So I called them first. Just to make sure they even had right. a gold color, which I should have known they would. But, but so. yeah. So um, so I talked to Hunter, and I told him, I didn't even say, I was just like, hey, I think I can get there before you close. Do you have it? I want to make the snitch. Do you have any gold yarn that, that would work for that? Like an antique gold color, not bright yellow. And he's like, yeah, I think we have several you can choose from. I'm like, okay, I'll be there before you close. <laughs> I love him. So I walk in the door at 4:45, and somebody else is there, and it wasn't Hunter, and um, and she has already pulled oh, five or the, six different all yarns, the goals. yes, that I could choose from. That's it so was, nice. I know they're just so wonderful, and um, and so it was it, really good that it was right at closing time. Because I really wanted to look around at more yarn. Right. And I even, like, there was, because she showed me the what she had pulled, mm -hmm. and then she was like, and there's one other one down here, another Anzula Nebula. And she and I looked in the bin, and there was another one right next to it. It was um, Jawbreaker, which is like mm -hmm. a white with multicolors. Yes, I have almost bought that one, because it's speckled and sparkled. Yes, and, it, mm. and it's every color. I've almost speckled. bought it, like, five times, oh. and I've resisted every time. Well, is that I'm, Anzula Nebula? So this is Anzula Nebula, so, which is the I same just, as this. They have the best sparkles. They and it's gold sparkle. Yeah, it's not showing up, but right. this color is saffron. It's, oh, there's some sparkle. There we go. It's so good. And um, it is just the perfect antique mm -hmm. gold color for this. Yeah. So I will be making. Two more. Two more. One That's is not a too gift. Bad. No, it's not bad. <laughs> and I have plenty of this. Um, yeah, I love yours with wire. I'm going to have to do that because I like it much better. It's not. So I'm going to make one just like this as a gift for some other friends of ours that are Harry Potter fanatics. Um, and then Zane requested one because what they, what they immediately did as soon as they got it was they started throwing it like a ball <clears throat> because they're boys. Yeah. And. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> I'm okay. And said so like, ooh. And Zane has requested one. Okay. That is tiny. He wants oh, one like where even the, the wings like, fit, fit in your hand because that's how it is for Harry Potter when he catches the snitch. Well, and that's 
fine as long as I don't right. want one bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, cute. I held this doubled. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hold it single. Yeah, I held out all of it double. Mm-hmm. Just use one single, go down in size in my needle because I used a two and a half. That's and, what I did too when I made mine. And yeah, because I checked with Sally. Mm-hmm. And I'll go down to probably a one. One. And use it single and just yeah, make, make it, it the exactly same. the same. So. And you cut down length of your wings too. No, I didn't. Really? Mm-mm. I did exactly how the pattern is. Huh. They don't yeah. look that much longer than mine. Mm-mm. They cool. Don't. Maybe it's because you have your nice wire in there. Oh yeah. What kind of wire did you use? <laughs> what I happen to have. <laughs> what do you have? Because I have maybe I don't know. some. It it's like it it's not silver because I've had it a long time okay. and it's not tarnished so it's oh, gotta okay. be like a stainless steel. I have something like that. Somewhere and I just here. had it in my beading supply. Yeah. I don't know. It's working. I've had it for so okay. long. Right. Yeah. I so was, like just a basic jewelry. Right. Uh, it, it yeah. I can look when I get the home. one I have. I think it might be too thick of a a gauge. Like it's not huge, but I feel like I can well, really. Look. This is... Yeah, mine's thicker than that. Okay. I need thinner. You could go thicker. This, um, it, it was kind of hard to weave it through because it would want to bend instead oh, of go. maybe thicker would be better. Yeah. I was just trying to picture, like, shoving that in and, you know, I don't want to damage my... <laughs> right. And I did have to be careful because I felt like it would snag, snag. on just a little mm-hmm. fiber. Mm-hmm. And I so I'd have to pick the fiber off. So at least I only had to do it twice. Yeah. yeah. But it just looks so much better. Yeah. So that's a trophy. Yeah, I love and it. It's cute. And a and sleigh. I, that's a really pretty yarn. Thank you. I have another sleigh. Okay. Yeah, yeah I have no more. Okay. So. So my next sleigh is. Oh yeah. Oh, I finished my Yay. Stranger Things cowl. It's still wet because I just blocked it yesterday. Super thick. Oh, it looks good. I love it. Okay. You're and, gonna love wait. wearing it. It is so thick. It's because it's so four warm. layers. It it even squishes in on itself. Yes, so I wear mine. Like I did, I show mine the first episode of this podcast. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I wear mine and I button my jacket. <laughs> so see, it and so it, <laughs> and it does, and it yeah. oh, it's and it's such soft yarn that you don't mind having it just like right. pressed, and it is so warm. It is knit pick it stroll. So good. Oh, down here. Nice. Um, it's knit pick stroll and okay so comfy fingering is that what we used Mm-mm, just fingering just stroll just, just stroll it's fingering. just so soft mm-hmm. it is, it's you almost don't feel like it's wool i know like it yeah it just it feels mm-hmm. like either it's acrylic or not cotton but it's so soft it's very soft i would definitely use this again yeah um it, it is great. super wash that's right and maybe that's why it's so soft Maybe, but it, um, and they usually say don't use superwash for, for Fair Isle because, um, having a grippy yarn mm-hmm. helps with your tension, with the float, or, mm-hmm. you know, the stitches staying where they're supposed to be. Um, but that's what the pattern called for. I it did. Know. And the pattern called for one and a half balls of it. And so, mm-hmm. like, I split with somebody, you split yeah. with somebody, so we really only bought one and a half. I didn't even go into my second of the black. I use it. I had like two yards left hmm. um, at the end of the black, and I hardly went into the gray. For the, I think I, I did like. Mine. I think I did that much, like half mm-hmm. a letter in the end in gray. It looks good. So, or in the second ball. Yeah, it's a super cheap. Like if you yeah. use that, mm-hmm. I mean it's like a. Seven dollar project mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, especially because we split. Because we split, yeah. Right. But it would be ten, I think, if you. I think they're like four dollars a ball. Are they? Three or four dollars. Yeah, yeah, it might be three. But still. Mhm. Yeah. Um, and I went ahead and did so. Um, if you don't watch Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah, you don't get it. <laughs> you won't get it. But in the movie, they use show or in the show, right? They use lights. To spell. to spell out words, and one of the ones is run. So I did R and U and N as yeah. the lights. And I did red, green, and blue, Cute. which were total, especially the blue. It was one that was a 
like a rain, like you said about your green and your little ornament, like oh. or no, the the tan mm-hmm. in your ornament. That it, you've used it. Yeah. It's totally a random yeah. weird skein that somebody gave me, and I'm like, I'm never. Or I got a yeah. Fiber Fest sample or something, and I'm. When am I ever gonna use this? So, so you used an inch of it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks good. It's it, it's yeah. one of my. You said on Facebook, it's one of your favorite. It it's is. one of my favorite things I've ever knit. Yes, and mostly because it's it's such a great homage yeah. to this amazing show. But it's, I mean, everything <laughs> about it. Like right. I loved the way it looks. I mm-hmm. love the show, and right. so I love that it's such a huge part of the show. Right. It just feels so good too. Like it's right. very practical. And the colors. I mean, black oh, and yeah. gray. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what doesn't? I just love with? everything about it. I'm right. so glad you got done. I know me too. Oh, I should have mine so I could show you the little stitch marker you were going to get. But Oh no, I saw it because it's a little yeah. light bulb. Well, yeah. So I guess I did show it on episode one, but it's right. a little Christmas light. It's so cute. Like the vintage looking one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so cute. Yeah. Um, Mine's attached to my cowl somewhere. <laughs> like right. I have it on there. <laughs> so that's all I have. First that's place. a big one because that's been yeah I weighing on you so it I yes because I, I remember I frogged it went yes I started over so now I'm really glad I did it yes oh it's so good I, I love it so whip cracking whip cracking whip yeah, I do crackin'. have my same three whips from okay. last time you go show us what have you been doing oh I love this guy okay this is my <laughs> Alan was cracking up when she got here because this this guy is. Um, got my loose T in him. He's a a T, whatever. Yeah, what is that called? T ball, something like that. But he's Balls. a he's a manatee. <laughs> She's so clever. <laughs> anyway, manatee. He's a manatee. So um, yes. So I did. I do have a hoe. Ooh. Sort of, because I don't. They don't have a heel in them yet, but I do have one oh, of yes, Mitch's. I'm gonna see more of this. One of Mitch's scrappy socks done. Oh wow! Look at that. I know. It got real weird. I never would have expected that. <laughs> Me either. They don't look like that in the little. It almost looks like leopard. I know, right? <laughs> they don't look like that at all. Like in the, and this one's really weird. This one, look, because right. it's got stripes, and then it's got like this kind of fair isley, and then uh-huh. stri- I don't know. Um. But yeah, I was not expecting that. Is that the middle one? This is this one. Oh my gosh, no! Isn't that weird? Yes. It was really fun though, because I was just like going, "What the hell?" And then, so the next one could be a different part of the repeat, Uh, so it's not going to look like this at all. And he wants me to reverse the colors, so (laughs) it'll go. But I was like, they're not going to match anyway because, like, this is a. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm not going to get this exact... Repeat. Most likely not going to get oh, this exact gosh. same... Oh, okay. that thing keeps... Like, I'm most likely not going to get... It, it could be stripes or something in, at the next part uh-huh. of the ball. So, I told him, I was like, they're not going to match either way. And so, he goes, well, I want you to do... Like, start the toe with this one and go up. So, so you're like, on the ribbing. You're finished. This is done. Oh, it's finished. This is okay. off the needles. I just need to cut in a heel. But I think mm. I'm going to hold off and have this as another um, example at my class I'm teaching. Oh, yeah. Because he's not in any brush for these. Like, they're right. not a Christmas gift. So I might hold off um, and cut in the toe at class. That way I have yet another. That way I'll have, like, my afterthought everything. Mm-hmm. And then these. I think they're kind of, I mean, I'm sure people are sitting there like gagging at their screen, but I think it was really I fun. I think it's awesome. And it was, you know, it was kind of like a mystery. Right. Oh, and I love he, it. And he doesn't care. He thinks they're great. Like, he, whatever. It's not like he's going to wear them with shorts and sandals. Like, nobody. Because <laughs> you would not let him do that. <laughs> but um, I just kind of think it's really fun. I do too. I like how it ended up. I and agree. I'm excited to see how the other one, I haven't even, I haven't cast on, I finished I know. these. I it's such a mystery. It is. I finished these at the at the Gaylord, mm. um, and I haven't cast on the second one yet because I wanted to, him to be sure that he wanted me to do black and up to mm-hmm. blue. So I love That's it. That's a hoe and a whip. I love it. Yeah, I thought it was really fun. Oh me. Okay. What have you got? So, uh, oh wait, I have one more sleigh. What? I forgot. How do you forget?
it. Well, <laughs> because I've talked about this before. Oh, okay. I finished. Oh, right. I finished. I worked on, I made like 15 of these soap sweater things. Oh, my God. Yes. No so I finished that. way. I didn't bring 15? my gem for you to see. Yes. Yes. I don't, but oh, they were and my you dark used them, Did you use most of them with that last the ball you showed? Mm-hmm. And That's I still cool. have a little bit left. I think I'm gonna save it and just as I have soap, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make right? a soap sweater for yeah. it. And because I do like using it in the shower, I like okay, it. Okay, cool. But what I wanted to do was I made a little tag. Oh, that's how for you're gonna it. package them. This is how I'm gonna Aww. package it. So for you, for me. Thank so you, you show how, or we can, sh- I'm, you want me to open it? Yeah. I want to give it to you. So. And then don't have to rewrap it and open no. it at Christmas. No. <laughs> you have it now. I mean, you said it was your favorite scent in your favorite yarn. Oh. <laughs> so. So that's what it looks like before. Right. And what I did. So I'm going to go rub it all over my body <laughs> and I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to go rub it all over my naked, wet body. Oh, stop. I'm blushing. Um, but oh, I love this soap. I don't. I almost don't want to use it. I know it smells so good. Oh. So, so mm. I tied it with. So I just I put the soap back in the box, and this one I didn't open very wisely. <laughs> Is that why I got it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But but if you yeah, that was my only lemon. Then you can put. Oh. So you get the lemon. Thank you so, so much. I'm so excited. But it um yeah you could um you could just tape it that close that's and cute, nobody would though, know how you tied it with yarn. And then what I did because and a little explanation. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because not everybody's a knitter and they're not all gonna know what's gonna happen. They might to be it. trying to like open it or like right. like I can totally see someone cutting and opening in the knitting to get right. the soap. You know. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> like, so or being upset. Like when it felt, thinking they broke it. <laughs> like, they weren't supposed to do that. Yeah. Like I can totally. Or being like, what do I do with this? Yeah. All right. Thanks. So. <laughs> yeah. That's I just, a good idea. I took the image from the, from the pattern page. Mm-hmm. And I created a little card and it says, a soap sweater is perfect in the shower or bath. When the soap has been used up, it looks like a felted pebble that can be placed in your drawer as a scented sachet. Oh, that's even better than I. Yeah. I didn't even read that part. And then when the scent's gone, you can put more essential oils on there yeah. and more scented Very whatever. cool. Well, thank so, you. I'm so excited. I, I, and what I realized when I was doing this is that you kind of can't see the words as well. I mean, you can. Yeah, you can. It's fine. Yeah. But it'd be super easy to put, it, put on it on the back. back. So I'm going to change this and I'll put them on the back. But I have it as a PDF and I wanted like... I want to make it available to other people if they're giving soap sweaters as gifts. So how would I do that? Because I we can't post a file on our group. on our Facebook page. What about in the Ravelry? <gasps> can I do it there? I think so. Okay, I'll try that. I'll post it so. here where you we'll can try it. it, or it'll be in the show notes. That's um, a great idea because it's just I mean, yeah. Because you know. I agree. I, I was thinking if I make some, which I'm probably not going to now, not this year. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking, I'm going to have to, like, explain explain what this is. Yeah. Right. And I want them to have the box so they know what the scent is right. and what's in it mm-hmm. and all that in case That's they have sensitivity. That's a great idea. Sensitivity. It's cute. I'm so excited. Thank but you. You didn't really have to make me one. I know. But I'm excited. I'll totally Good. use it. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. Okay. So that was another sleigh. Yes, it is. <laughs> because I am finished with making those for now. That's a lot. Yeah, I made a lot. a lot. I know they're small, but well, still. I got all excited and bought all the soap, and I'm and then like, you're like, now I have to, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I could use the soap. I guess, but that's still a lot of soap. Yeah. So okay. now I would I also I feel like I have, like if somebody drops by and brings me a gift, I'd oh, be like, oh, I have this. Yeah, that's like, true. You know, it's a good backup. That is a good idea. I might have, might have to. I'll put them on the list. <laughs> right. So I have another whip. Okay. Uh, this is my lucky number seven. Um, it basically looks the same. It got a little bit of love. Oh, it's it just, did. It's just going to look like this until it's done. Like, right. <laughs> it's just getting a little longer. And I'm you're still it. loving knitting it. I love it. It's super fun. Good. It's great um, conversation oh, knitting. Good. Yeah. Um, and this is the Anzil, An, Anzula Nebula in the Sand. That's why I, uh-huh. I was like, Sand or on a trail? Because I've used both. Um, and Malabrigo in lettuce. And I'm still loving it. 
It this, is so cute. Yeah, this will probably be really good um, for when we go to New York. Mm. This will be really good travel knitting mm -hmm. because it's I never have to look at a pattern or anything. And it's basically right. I'm just gonna go until I'm. And it's small enough you can fit in a bag. Yeah, and it's in my super awesome. Mm -hmm bag from Anomalous Mind from last week. And we're giving that bag away today at the, at the end of this episode. Yeah. So, very nice. Okay, my whip is also in my bag from Anomalous oh, Mind. I was so excited to use it. So, and I, okay, so yesterday is when I finished my Stranger Things cowl. And I was fried. <laughs> <laughs> I was, and I'm spent. Yes, I was so fried. And I really wanted, to, because like you have to look at it the entire time and you're constantly yeah. following exactly you're looking what's in at the, the pattern. Chart, yeah. yeah. And so, and I'd done the 170 stitches of Kitchener. Yes. And, um, and so I just, I was, I had wanted my very <laughs> next thing to be the Shisui shrug uh -huh. that I put down ages ago. But I just I was couldn't like, think about it. Right. Yet I didn't want to just work on my mitts when we went to soccer games because yeah. we had two soccer games and like two hours in between, not enough time to come home. And that. Right. So I was like, what can I do? What can I get? What really can I cast? cast on? So our December knit along is mm. for our group is a charity knit, yes. and we are knitting a hat. And we did it last. We knit oh hats gosh. last year, and it could be any hat. Yeah, because we're just gonna donate them. Right. So they're being donated to a local shelter. So I have had this hat in my favorites for a while. Okay. It's called the Strib Hat by Kelly Williams. And but and it is a striped hat, but I wasn't gonna do it striped. Um, because I again didn't want to have to think. Right. And I needed to grab from my shelf. Yeah. So one one skein. <laughs> right, one skein. It's, it's worsted. Cool. And um, colors. And so I chose Noro Curion, um, which is 100% wool. So it'll be nice and warm, but it's a little scratchy. Yeah. Um, and also it comes already like in the kind of skein that you can oh, just pull from. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to wind it. Yes, that's <laughs> so. It's like if you don't um, already have something wound, right. yeah. So I like the colors it, a lot. It's, it's really so manly. It is very manly, and I did. One of the um, one of the soap sweaters I did was in a little bit of leftover that was this <laughs> this section right yes. here from another ball. So the way this it's a free pattern and you do about an inch of four by four rib, then you do about eleven rows of two by two rib, oh. and then you do seven rows of or about seven rows of one by one rib. Hmm. Because I wasn't following the stripe pattern, so I just kind of yeah. You know, and then you knit in plain stocking up until it gets to five and a half inches, and then you start decreasing. So it makes a little beanie. Cool. And I really like it in the stripe. Um, it because you change halfway through each mm -hmm. ribbing, you change the stripe color, and, and it. Um, but what ended up happening is the color changed almost right yeah. at Where the different ribbings i think it's very cool it worked out very yeah. nicely but let me tell you the next thing that happened so <laughs> i cast it on in the car like i literally grabbed my bag grabbed my yarn printed the pattern and grabbed the needles and left so i'm doing them on a seven probably should have done it on an eight because mm -hmm. it was kind of tight, a little tight. Pulling, and it's such sticky wool like pulling it through gotcha but it um you know it's in the rounds it's good to have a beginning marker of your round, especially if you're doing ribbing, but I didn't have one. I didn't have anything I could even use as a marker. You had However, your zipper pull. Exactly. <laughs> I had my zipper pull, which is a lobster class one nope. that was too small for these size seven needles, mm -hmm. but you could clip it. I clipped it close to uh -huh. it, and it was good enough. Until you could get a marker, yeah. Well, and and I didn't, I didn't get a marker until, like, here. I mean, I did a lot. But when you're doing it in ribbing, you always, you, you know, know. that you your just, knit is the first or whatever. Exactly. Like, yeah. I knew that this line of knit was where it started. 
So um, I'm telling you, I think having a progress keeper as mm-hmm. your as, as your pole, pole, like that's a great idea. Like that'll yes. really come in handy for lots of things. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to mark like, a, oh, I this is a mistake. I right. need to go back and fix or whatever. Exactly. Yes. So that's I awesome. am now. I'm so glad you put it in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> it saved me, but yeah. I just, I love the bag. Yeah. They're so it's, interesting to look at. They are, but also it's, um, it just, it, it's lightweight. Mm-hmm. It was nice to carry. Um, they squish down yeah. really nice, but and then they pop right back. Mm-hmm. So they don't recall. Anomalous Minds, thank you no. very much. We're giving one away. Yay. Um, that is all of my slate. I have one more. I have, well, I have one more whip. Oh, wait. Whips. That's whip, right. We're on whip. whips. <laughs> okay. And this is like a beautiful mess <laughs> because it's got two balls attached to it. Okay, and always. so this is my sweater. And I'll tell you why it's such a mess here in a minute. Okay. So, hold on. I was knitting on it before you got here. <laughs> okay. So. Last podcast, I was like here. Here. Okay. So I finished. Oh, you didn't. I went down. Down. Oh, wow. Two more. I think I was a little further than that progress keeper, actually. Oh, okay. And so I'm on. The next thing I need to do is do a few more rounds of stockinette and then do you do a bottom ribbing for an inch or whatever. But I didn't want to finish it until I knew that that was the length I wanted. So I came up here and put, so I just held, that's just, it's still on the needles. It's still attached to this one. And still attached to the yarn. And then I came up here with my leftover, this was like the leftover of my first ball. And I picked up for the call, the neckline. And I've started... You know, mm-hmm. You have like half an inch. Yep, I'm done. I'm. It's going faster than I was because it's twisted rib, which I don't Ooh. love. On these sharp as oh. <laughs> needles, <laughs> they are so sharp because they're like what a one. These are a US one high high sharp, which my interchangeable set is high high. But these, um, when they're b- get below a two, you have to get a special okay. needle. Um, They're still interchangeable, but the uh, cable is a smaller size. Uh Um, So, like, you can go lower than a two, but you have to get, like, it's called a sock cable. So, I bought this size one needle, two of them, obviously, and then this sock cable. And I can take this off, you know, and put it on if I get some more. But for right now, I'm just using it as a fixed because it's the only two things I have in that tiny size. So I'm doing the neckline and it's so pretty. Like I just, I'm glad I'm doing the twisted. Most, I don't do mm. twisted ribbing unless I really do think it's going to make it look different. better. Mm-hmm. And in this case, I do like it because it makes it pop. Mm-hmm. I think it's really pretty. So are you having to knit through the back loop for both the knit just and the knit. Just, just the knit. Just the knit, which helps. Cause yes, that does help. I don't love knitting through, purling through the back loop. Yeah, that's. Um, and God, these, they're just so, <laughs> the, the yarn is so tiny, it's lace weight. And then these are such tiny, which I'll knit the whole body on like a two. So I really, it's not, but the difference is oh, crazy is. between a one and a two. Oh, the sharpness. Oh is my crazy. God. Like touch it. Oh, it is it, like a needle. I mean, it I was, a needle, but, like but it's like a sewing needle. Yes. Yeah. And, oh my God. They're so sharp. And I have, <gasps> oh, and I, myself, yes. And I, I, I've trained myself not to push the needle when I purl. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness. Right. I would be raw meat if I had, right. but I do, um, you know, when you kind of need more, um, oops, right. More force. That needs, yeah. Okay. Um, you know how, when you kind of need to pull your, uh-huh. that's when I push uh-huh oh no. yeah you, uh, we were watching tv and i and i was like ah! and she goes what <laughs> i was like i'm trying not to stop myself <laughs> it's man but i got in a rhythm like my, my first round was pretty rough mm-hmm. i'm not gonna lie i was like i don't know if i can do this it's so sharp <laughs> 
and I got in a rhythm and now I'm just zoom in and I'm, I'm loving it. Wow. So yeah, I think you're supposed to do like an inch and a quarter or something. So I'm not, I've, I won't, so I'm going to finish the neckline and then I'm going to put this on try the try it on, it on tubing and try it on mm-hmm. like legit try it on. Will you try it on with like the bottom that you're going to wear with it? Or do you know? See how they're like, oh, and um, I'll probably try it on, yeah, with like my skinny jeans or whatever. These also, the worst part about these, besides them being like, I could kill someone with this. You really could. Like I really. They they should not be TSA approved. (laughs) They are not. I will not be taking this on the plane because like I might get arrested. They're so sharp. Yeah. The worst part is, so like this tube. Uh Uh-huh. They don't fit in there. They don't fit. Oh. So it fits on my twos great, you know, and it's a, what do they call it? Needle keeper. Needle keeper. Mm-hmm. These don't fit. They pop, they slide right out. Right. Doesn't stay. Okay. Then, so I was like, okay, I have needle protectors. They don't fit. Oh. They fall off. Then I was going, I have one of those, they call them like needle cozies. Like it's a piece of fabric oh, that right. falls over and snaps and I can't find it. Oh. <laughs> I only have one of them and I can't find it. Oh man. So that would probably be like, right. that would be fine. That would totally fit because it just folds over the whole. Right. But so for right now, I'm just having to be really careful because you saw me as I was sitting here. Uh-huh. It's like it snagging. It wants to pick it's up snagging. everything. So I need to just get the collar done so that <laughs> these can go away. Because then, but I have to use these again on the bottom ribbing and the ribbing on the, mm-hmm. I don't, is it still a cuff if it's like up here? <laughs> yeah. On the cuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, I need to find that needle cozy because they're going to like damage my sweater. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so excited that I'm so like, this should be done by next episode. That is so pretty. Because all I have left is just a little bit on the bottom mm-hmm. ribbing and then the sleeves, which are not going to be long. And then, you know, just a little bit left on the collar. But I think it's so cool. It is. So the I color. just have to, I'm tired. Like this was this is not good, like, take with me knitting anymore mm. because these are, <laughs> so sure. oh, my God, like, and they're snagging on everything. They would totally and, poke through a project bag. Oh, yeah. And like, heartbeat. I can't, I'm not even putting them in the bag. Right. So it's just kind of laying around my house. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. oh, I should put this back on the, the twos. Oh, yeah. Is that good. the downside also of knitting the collar when the um, body is not, is still on, it's still on the needles is, like, I have that ball of yarn and mm. the needle is all just a big mess. So, but it's a beautiful mess. I just yes. need to get it, but it's so close. <laughs> and then I'm going to triple dip this sweater Ooh. in three knit along. Um, so I'm going to put it in skein enables first in first out knit along, which is like an old pattern or old yarn. I'm going to put it in the two knitlet chicks sweater knit along these are all podcasts by the way and i'm going to put it in the prairie girls knit and spin legend prairie oh what's that knit along legend prairie is um you know like <laughs> legendary. legendary right so it's like whatever rocked your face off this year like, oh. it could be your first washcloth they don't care like uh-huh. just whatever like filled you with pride and made uh-huh. you feel like a rock star and that is definitely this because that would be my stranger things Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, maybe I'll enter it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the Legend of Prairie thread is always really fun because it's like people are just so excited and proud. So this is definitely going in that. So it's going to be triple dipped. Wow. So That's far. awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm super pumped. About, like, not right. only do I love it, but I'm also like entering it into three different. I don't know. I just, it's just pushing all my buttons right now. Right. And I love right. it. That was my last. Whip. Okay. I don't have any more whips either. Okay. Do you want to talk about trophies or? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So this is one I actually meant, I got it several weeks ago and I meant to show it. So for the yarn crawl, the DFW oh, yeah. yarn crawl, if you went to all the shops, you got Which, a t-shirt. I didn't go to a single one. That's okay. Mm-hmm. I did. Yep. And I got my t-shirt. <gasps> That is so cute. It, it is the best free t-shirt I've ever gotten in my life. I know. Like Show all the details. It's so, first of all, like the t-shirt itself oh, it's is nice. awesome. It's super soft and it's a v-neck oh, yeah. and it's flattering and it's not like, 
too small like most of them are. I don't know. I just love it. The graphic is great. Who did the graphic? Um, Victoria, I did think. Did she? Yeah. Or oh. she got, I don't know. She uh-huh. was She was in charge. In charge. Um, how stinking cute is this? Look, she's got her stagecoach and she's got yarn balls falling out the back. I just love it. And then it has all the shops on the back. Which Jennings Street just closed. They're no longer, no longer open. I just think it's so cool. It is so cool. And, and you know what I love about the front? Can I show? Mm-hmm. So this on the stagecoach, like it's a runaway yeah. stagecoach. And look at the woman in the front seat right here. <laughs> look at her. She is, she does not care mm-hmm. about her own safety. She is worried about her, her yarn, yarn falling off yes. the back of the stagecoach. And that would so be me. I mean, <laughs> I don't care if I fall off this she's runaway like, stagecoach. My, <laughs> my yarn. My truck of yarn open. <laughs> yeah, look, look, this one in here, she's, oh, she's knitting. knitting. And they're very concerned about her yarn as well. Yep. This one's knitting. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. Like this. It is. Oh. It's the best. I mean, seriously, you know, you get these free t-shirts sometimes and it's like, yeah, like, this is the, the best closet. free t-shirt ever. <laughs> like, not only am I like proud of it, but it is awesome and comfortable and like a size less than I would have needed <laughs> last year, which is also nice. very exciting. And it's kind of big, actually. I'm like, that's what I was going to ask you if it was yeah. too big. Cause it's you a little had bit, to, it's a little bit big. You had yeah. to request the size so long ago. It's a bit big. I'm not going to lie. Made me pretty happy. That's awesome. Um, and so, do you have trophies? Um, kind of. Okay. But not really. Go ahead. I'll, I'll just finish and then... Oh. Okay. I know. Diane did it again. <laughs> so, right before, like, literally the morning, an hour before we podcast last time, I was watching Suburban Stitcher, her po- latest podcast at the time, and... Um, waiting for you and mm-hmm. she posted some of her yarn that she was going to have in her shop and I was like well hell <laughs> <laughs> um so this is actually not the one that made me go to the shop but I grabbed this because I just need is more... that the blue jeans the boyfriend jeans oh I love yeah. that and it's DK and yeah. I, I bought it thinking I might make um some mitts or gloves for my husband um but I'm not sure I don't I don't know if he'll actually wear them so but I just I was like, I'm getting it just because I need it more. It looks like boyfriend jeans. Yeah, it's called boyfriend jeans. And I love it. It looks like And them. I think it can go either way. Like, I will love something out of it, or it would be great for a man. And she made that shawl out of the creamy white color in this. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, yeah. man. So, I don't know if it's actually going to end up being Mitch's, because... I don't think he would appreciate it. But, but it's denim color, so denim yeah. goes with everything. Yeah. And I love blue. I mean, right. so. Yeah. I love it. I'm so happy and to I see it in person. I, yeah, I don't think I had ever had any of her DK. So. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yes, I love it. This is it the is one great. that she showed on her podcast, and I was like, um, get me to the shop on time. Like, <laughs> what? Oh. What's it called? Old Romance. Oh, that's right. Old Romance. She's using that in one of her sweaters she's knitting right now, I think. I don't know. It's in so the Swancho pretty. one or something like that. It is so pretty. It's it's plummier on screen than it oh is my God. in person. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. And are the speckles like black speckles or just I a darker think purple? I um... Like darker. I think they're the concentrated uh-huh. pink, and then there's even some oh, like yeah. rusty, orangey. I don't even know. Wow. It's so like I don't know if I'll ever knit it. She's amazing. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I can knit it, but it is such a good color. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. So yeah, I bought those. Nice. Is <laughs> she for sure? Gonna be at DFW Fiber Fest. Yeah. <gasps> Diane, do you need help in your booth? We'll help you. Yeah. We'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah. I'm only taking one class. I'm taking two. We never talked about it. Oh yeah. I'm taking two classes. Don't ask me to tell you which ones they are. I know, because I didn't. Two classes that Saturday, I think. So I can I have help. Saturday I can afternoon. Help. Oh good. Mm-hmm. I can help all day Friday. Uh huh. I can help Friday too. I'm happy to. I know. And Phyllis will be there too. <gasps> 
And Phyllis just wants to hang with me. Even so. better. <laughs> Even better. Yep. Um, that's all of my cookies. Unless you count what we got at. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Okay, so we'll do your trophy first, and then we'll go into it. Well, okay, so this isn't completely a trophy, because I've had this for a while, but I'm super excited about what I'm going to make with it, and it's kind of a time-sensitive project, so oh. if you wanted to get in on it, I want people to know. Okay. Okay, so I bought this Cat's Pajamas Hand Spun at Fiber Fest, like, two years ago how fun is that and i buy something from them every time because i love barbara pole love it <laughs> not enough to learn how to spin no and do it myself yeah but, I but love you're it. gonna buy it yeah. i'm gonna buy it so um so then my mom bought this western sky knit this mm. green it's um silk and it's pole war silk dk so it's silk and um and wool Such and a color she got it like the tag on here is 26.95 i think she got them for eight dollars a skein what i know she was somewhere that they had random skeins of yarn and she's like oh sale. that's pretty and she recognized western sky knits from yeah um dfw fiber fest she's like i'll take that so I'm pairing mm -hmm. these, these three, and I'm making the Project Peace 2017 shawl because it's DK weight, and I originally had these paired to do a cowl, and it wouldn't have used all the yarn, um, and when I pulled it off the wall, because, you know, I was looking for something to knit, and I didn't want... Um, I, I have a, like, my stash is divided by ones that are queued with a project, so I can just pull that, and I already have a project, I already know what it's supposed to be, and I have a whole stash of things that are not queued. So I went to my queued wall and was like, okay, what do I want to knit with? I wanted something bigger than fingering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause Cause sometimes so you fingering. just, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I pulled this, and I went to pull up the pattern that, it, that I had it queued with, and I realized it was DK, and the project piece shawl had come out and some people from knit group are going to do do it as a knit along and um and so i was like wait dk dk oh oh project <laughs> piece. oh oh so i put it all so i looked it up i have plenty of this to do the large size cool. i of course have plenty to do the small yeah but i'm gonna do the large so i can use up most of it i'm a little concerned this so the main body is in garter in this then there's a little bit, like the end of it is some simple lace. I'm a little mm. concerned this is going to be too busy for the lace. Maybe. But honestly, I'm okay if the lace doesn't show up because the yarn is what I love yeah. the most. It'll so, be okay. It'll be fine. Um, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. And I'm going to... That's such a fun... Oh, I know. I love so it. So you. It's almost one of those that like I don't want to knit up because I love it so mm. much. Um... So if I don't like how it's knitting up, then I'll just I almost want you to make like an animal out of that. Oh. Like like a scrappy looking like uh -huh. teddy bear right. or something. Like I just it's so cute. It is so <laughs> cute. Oh, I love it. So um so the reason it's time sensitive is mm -hmm. you can so um you it's can like an advent thing, right? Like you do kind of a little bit each day. Right. So it's two thousand so it starts on December first. You can buy the pattern now, it's three dollars. And um Last year for the Project Peace cowl, which mm -hmm. is this, and we'll talk about that in a minute, um, it was free. And it was just as a way to promote peace, think about peace while you're knitting it. It's a simple knit. You can do it through the holidays and, you know, be peaceful. It was like four rows a day or something. Right. Yeah. I fun. didn't I didn't do it that way. I cast it on at some point in December and just knit until it was done. <laughs> but... Um, but this time she's charging $3, and 100% of it gets donated to three different charities that help women and children. Um, one of them is international, and then two are in the U.S. And, um, and she talks about why she decided to, to charge this year. And mostly it was because it was to harness the power of knitters, because we That's a good are idea. a powerful group. Mm -hmm. And $3 so, is not. Exactly. And I it, would do it, but I don't have D. I only have one... One DK. 
<laughs> um, so I switched it and now I'm doing that. And well, if you were, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whew. Thought I was going to die for a second, but I'm fine. Right. Um, if you were already like, oh, I have too much yarn, you know, for that cowl that you wanted to do. Right. It's working out for the best. Right. It really I is. I love that. I know. Mm. Oh. So, so it's not really a trophy because I already owned it, but I'm excited about what it's paired with. I'm and I can't it. start it till December 1st, so that's why I had to look for the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm glad I did the hat because now I feel I kind of got that like yeah. itchiness off of yeah. being focused all the time. And now I can yeah. focus. Yeah. Again. You need, you got your like, it's a palette cleanser. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's I have, see. I have my charity hat. The, the yarn is skeined up and mm-hmm. I have the needles and, and the pattern is in a bag behind mm-hmm. us. I just need to grab it and it's going to be easy palette cleansing too. So mm-hmm. maybe after I finish my lace weight sweater. Right. Not only lace weight, but like for a big girl, um, I think I'm gonna bust out that like, I think it's worse to weight or bulky. Like, oh, yeah. oh, it's gonna be so awesome right. to just be done with something yes. in a day and yeah, not have so. to think so hard. No, about it. yeah. Oh, so I feel yeah. Sometimes you just need to not think. Palette cleanser. Yeah. I love that. But. Like, two of my projects are completely brainless, and then I have my sweater, which, for the most part, like, I'm, I'm done with the lace. Mm. All that I have left is stockinette and ribbing. Mm-hmm. It's sleeves and, like, a hem, but... But now it's easy. Yeah, it's yeah. just... But it's still not portable. And it's still not dark knitting. No. Because you have oh to... <laughs> you have to look at it. Yeah, you have to look at it. Um, so... Like, it's not hurting my brain. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll have to pick up for the sleeves and all that, but that's easy. And, um... But it's, you know, it's good to have, I, I'm, I've got a good, like, mix. And then mm-hmm. none of it is sucking my mojo. Right. So, right. Yeah. So, last week, Tuesday, mm-hmm. um, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, we had our Knitsgiving, which is our Thanksgiving get-together with our knitting friends. And it is, like, one of my favorite days it is, of the year. Yes. It's so fun. We It's potluck it. It is so We much bring fun. it to... One, she always hosts because she has a big house. It's great. You can bring your kids. You can not bring your kids. Whatever. She's got, like, dogs everywhere. So my kids love it. Right. Um, so it's at Jen's house. Thank you so much for hosting, I know. Jen. Again. Again. Wonderful. She's so generous. And and her husband always makes the meat. Mm-hmm. And so last year we had pork and turkey. And this year it was all turkey. And it was really good. And everyone brings all this yummy stuff. Mm-hmm. All the sides. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. What did I take? Oh, I just brought fruit. Right. <laughs> well, you wanted to make sure you had something Yeah, new. I wanted to make sure I had. But then we have another friend who lost her mind. Oh, my God. I in love the, it that she did that. In the best way possible. Right. Like, we're totally benefiting from her complete right. insaneness. <laughs> And she decided, like a week before, let's do, because we've always done something. We've always, well, not always, but like we, like last, last, year. last year we swapped mini skeins. Like we all took our scraps or like a skein, a hank and cut it up into mini skeins. And then we, you know, however many you brought, that's how many you took home, you know. And so it was, it was very fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved that. I'm still, that was- I'm still putting them in my blanket. Uh-huh. It, it was fun. Yeah. And this year I like totally forgot to propose anything. So I was like, whatever, it's fine. But then a week before, she goes, let's let's do a stitch marker swap. But and like was, as an advent But like calendar. an advent. So like there'll be a mystery. And I was kind of like, I don't get it. But I'm we all were like, here huh? for it. How's that work? I'm in. <laughs> yeah. She lost her mind. Oh, oh my gosh. So first of all, who? So you had to, you know, you couldn't just show up the day of and say, I want to participate. Right. You need and. Then we find out why. So, but wait, also because we had to make, so we, had to, we had to make stitch Or, markers. I mean, you didn't have to make them. Oh, you them. could buy them. You could have bought them, but like I made mine. I made mine. But um, some people bought. And that's fine. And so there were eight of us that did it. Mm-hmm. And so you um, were supposed to make, I actually did it wrong. <laughs> did you know that? Yeah, I know. Yeah. You, you said that. I right. messed up. I did it wrong. I made like three sets of eight, but like all eight were different you were right. supposed to make three sets of eight and they were all the same right so that's what i did 
Sorry. <laughs> I didn't get it. I told you I didn't get it. <laughs> I was like going, how is this going to work? Once I got there and saw how she had it set up, I right. got it. But anyway. So she had a whole station. Mm -hmm. And the reason she needed to know, aside from us needing to make them. Right. Because we need to know how many to make. But right. look at these bags she made, y'all. And they're personalized with she our name. She bought the plain. What is this? Muslin? Canvas? Or, yeah. It's, yeah. Burlap? I don't know. It's more like a linen. And she's. Yeah, linen. That's the word. I was mm -hmm. She stamped them. And it says, Bah Humbug. And it says our names. And down here, Felice Navidad. Like, shut up. <laughs> Can you believe these stamps? Then she made these. This is my initials. Yes. Look. Our little tags. Oh, mine's backward. Oh, <laughs> you have a little tag. Mine's a circle. Cute. Yeah. They have our initials on them. Yeah. What? Libby. I mean, you're insane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she had to make eight of these. But she said she found, she saw these stamp sets, these Christmas cheap stamp sets at Michael's. It was like, I need those. And then she had to have a way to yeah. use them. Bah, humbug <laughs> cracked me up. And this it little is. sheep is knitting. Did oh. you notice that? He's knitting. Oh and my, my tree has balls of yarn under it. Mine does too. Yeah. I mean, look at this. What? I mean, over and I above. I mean, I literally almost started crying. Yeah. I was like, this is the cutest thing. <laughs> but wait, there's wait, more. There's more. Then she had all, and they were all, our like, so our bag was filled with these little envelopes. Mm -hmm. And we each got, like, I had three numbers. Was it three? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so she had these pre- Pre-done. Pre-stickered. All we had to do was stick our stitch markers in them. And it and they say Chicks with Sticks DFW Advent 2017. And she gave you one to close your envelope yep. with. A matching one. And they were stamped with the number. Yeah. Already had the number on it. So we so, know that's the day to open. Yeah. So on December 1st, we start with... Oh, and it had the Christmas Day. Yes. Envelope in there. She had, she had done, done that one. In addition to her three yes. that she did. And this is the Christmas Day one. So we get to open that on Christmas morning. And even though it sounds like a bell, she says it's not a bell. <laughs> I know. And look, all the little stickers are different. That's a sweater. Oh my God, Santa. Yeah. I just think it's the cutest thing. There's like a cross stitch Christmas tree. Like she went all out. In same. So we all filled our, our respective right. days and then, you know, made sure each one, each of these Bag. bags got one. Yep. And so now we have 25, 25 stitch, stitch markers. markers Yay. to open up. And we don't, we only know the ones that we filled. We only, right. Yeah. So we'll get one of the ones we made. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. <laughs> and not only did she do all this. She also made a Thanksgiving stitch marker for everybody who came to Thanksgiving. Then, yeah, then she also brought all her supplies and had a stitch marker making station. Yeah. And one of the girls that was really sad she hadn't gotten in on the advent calendar, she made her own advent calendar while she was there at the stitch marker station. It's bananas. It was so much fun. It was so amazing. You guys, like, if you have a knit group... A, you need to have knits giving. Yes. And B, this is hella fun. Yes, it is. Like, I cannot <laughs> wait. I cannot wait. Because I didn't do a yarn one this year. Um, I did it, you know, I did my um, opal one last year. I think that's did my thing call it. And I've never done an epic calendar yeah. for me. And it was really fun. Um, I really <laughs> enjoyed. Oh, that's, oh okay, so that's here's the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving one. one. Look at this. It is a pine cone. the cutest little, ah. sorry, I can't do this, pine cone and a bead. Oh my God, it's so cute. Can't repeat. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had it for a second. There we go. So cute. And, and so she made we, that for everybody. Yes. And so we have these adorable bags that I'm just going to hang yep. like, over by my kids' advent. Me too. Three. I'm putting mine by and the kids. And then I get... To open something every day. Yay! I love advent calendars. No, Libby outdid herself. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I mean, 
And I was telling her, and she had so much fun. She's like, yeah, she loved it. I think I need to start selling on Etsy because I just had too much fun. She needs to sell them as a swap kit. Yes. That's what I told her. Don't sell the stitch markers and all that. Sell the packaging. Yeah. Sell the bags and the envelopes. Right. So that people can just, like a knit group can buy the packaging, Mm -hmm. buy the party essentially. Yeah. And then make Buy the idea. mm -hmm, Yeah. Make their own stitch markers. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what we're going to do next year. I know. We can't top this. No. (laughs) Libby will find a way. And then we'll get to show you a couple, like a week's worth or so next podcast. Yep. Yep. And we'll aside from Sally's ones that she put in, everybody will have the same yeah, stitch I'm markers. So. <laughs> but it's fine because I want to see. Cause it's I'm, not going to matter. No. No. <sighs> yeah. But that, those were, that it was, was a major trophy. Very fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big time trophy. And, it's okay, kind of, so then I was also kicking myself for not having put my mom's name in no. as doing stitch markers because I would have just made them for her yeah. and gotten her Advent stuff. So while I was making the stitch markers for Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. I went ahead and made my mom her own so cute stitch marker Advent calendar. Did so you give it to her? I gave it to her Thanksgiving. She excited. She's very excited. She didn't quite understand what it was at first. <laughs> <laughs> but when I explained it, she was very excited. Um, so I'm, I'm excited, excited for her to yeah. open them. That's fun. Yeah. Um, Kimber and I both did the Opal advent calendar last year, uh-huh. and we would text each other every day, I got this one today! It was like, this little ones that I'm making uh-huh. midget socks with. It was... Was it the same? No. Really? I mean, like, I think we ended up with the same, uh, but, like, we didn't know... Not on the same days. Yeah, they weren't in the same days. Interesting. That's so fun. Yeah. Um, okay, so I think the only thing left to do is the giveaway, and we were going to talk about oh, right. um, what we were wearing. Yes. So you're wearing the peace cowl from last yes, year. Yes, I'm wearing the peace cowl from last I year. Which I did enjoy knitting that a lot. I did too. I never wear mine, but I enjoyed knitting it. And I was able to even do this in the movies. Yeah. Like, it was dark enough. Or mm-hmm. It was good enough dark mm-hmm. knitting. But I mean, Wasn't it just slipping? Like, one row was knit, and then the other one was, like, some slip. Yes. So Something it like is that. that you. It's like in the round. Leaf, or what is that called? Like a thermal. I don't know what the stitch pattern is called. It's not a basket. Um, it might be a thermal. But it is. It's like thermal underwear, kind of. It's easy. <laughs> it's. Mhm. You knit. Knit one, purl two or three. Knit one, purl two or three, and then you um every other row you're slipping that knit. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think you two rows you slip it. Anyway, it's in the pattern. It's free. Yeah, it was a free pattern. But I want to show you. At one point oh. here, I forgot to slip, and so I just did. It ended up looking like stockinette when I went around, and I decided it was just going to be a design element. Works for me. And so when I got when I realized that I was up here, and I was like, well, oh, that tells well. me how how high I'm going because yep. I'll just be put it right in the middle. <laughs> right. I love that red. It's Cascade D20. It's such a good red. I don't know what color. It's in my it's in my project page, but um yeah, it's, it's a Cascade good red. D20. And it's also nice looking on the back. Like that's the inside. Mm-hmm. It just it Which doesn't I look like messy. for a cowl like that. Mm-hmm. It's nice when the back is not ugly right. because it shows. Right. Exactly. I'm wearing um my Pure Joy mm-hmm. from Hohi Locatelli. I knit this like this time last year, I think, and it's awesome it's such a cool shape it is. starts where does that start on the little side this oh, okay well it's knit like this mm-hmm. but like i love this end where it all meets mm-hmm. and then it just keeps going that's gorgeous and it's such a cool shape like i don't have anything else this shape uh-huh. and my yarn was um the navy blue is stunning string And it'll be in my project page. I can't remember the color, Um, but it's like midnight or something. You know, it's navy blue. Um, It's a great navy, though. Yeah, it is a good navy. And I took this skein with me to, like, Fiberfest or Stitches or something and, like, Mm -hmm. held it up to so many. And and, um, I I was really happy with with this navy. This is one of my favorite yarns I've ever knit with. It's Yarn Carnival um, Shark Week. Oh, that's right. Because see, it's like blood red. 
in the water. It's look, it's uh-huh. blood red. So we coordinate really well today. We do. Um, and that leads us into something we were going to talk about. Yes. Um, Texas Fiber Arts. So follow them on Instagram. Yes, follow Texas Fiber Arts on Instagram. They so Yarn Carnival recently went to Vogue Knitting Live in Seattle and was a vendor there. Met some great people, but also had a lot, amazingly a lot, of people be really negative towards her because she was from Texas, saying, there's no way you know how to dye yarn. You live in Texas. Like, they, it's not cold enough for wool. Uh, have here. you met Mustache? <laughs> Have you heard of mustache yarn? We Guess have, where she lives. We have so many dyers here. We That's have, insane to me. I know. So insane. So many dyers, so many spinners. We have so much agriculture here that grow that raise goats and sheep and not to mention like look at how beautiful this is. Being right. where you are from doesn't mean you don't be have creative. an artistic eye. Right. Have you met suburban stitcher? Right. Have you so she... I don't get it. <laughs> she took some time to decompress <laughs> afterwards. She's and a better woman than I, because I would have been like, let me choke you out with this yarn. <laughs> and then she came home, and she posted on Instagram, and she said, I am going to change this perception of Texas. I had no idea that was a thing. I didn't either. I've never had anybody... I've had people be like, but you never get to wear it. That makes sense. <laughs> and it's like, I know, right? Yeah. So, um, and we... I mean, DFW Fiberfest is so big. And yeah. so... I mean, they're just... I don't get it. I don't either. I had no idea that, that, that the perception was we don't know what we're doing. Right. Or that we wouldn't have good stuff down here. Right. Yeah. So, she and her husband, Matt, they both run Yarn Carnival. And... Um, they have started Texas Fiber Arts, and it is a industry industry collective or industry um, organization to help promote the fiber arts in Texas, so that the rest of the world can know how great our Texas fiber artists are. Yeah, I want one of those. I knit. We knit in Texas, y'all. Right. <laughs> So she's created a whole line, they have created a whole line of uh, shirts and pins and stickers Mm -hmm. and promotional stuff that say, we knit in Texas, y'all, we We, we crochet in Texas, we spin, spin. anything that has to do with the arts, with fiber arts, they have made the pin. And, um, And it just, it's. I mean, I just, I was flabbergasted that people could be that mean and rude in the first place because that's just not nice. We don't need to treat people that way in the first place. Right. Second, I think I was just most flabbergasted about that. (laughs) But then second that, like, of course we have good stuff here. Yeah, like, I don't understand the reasoning. Go out, support them, like them on Instagram. Yeah, Um, follow them. Yep. Buy their stuff and um which i already loved yarn carnival right so and i did too i bought so at last dfw fiber fest i bought a lot of stuff from them and um and matt their colors are and their amazing and, mm-hmm. their colors are gorgeous and they yeah. have great names <laughs> everybody knows 50 percent of it is the name right, <laughs> right. so um so that's yeah. That's the latest So we thing. wanted to tell you guys about that. Even if you're not from Texas, right. you know, just we would love for people who aren't from Texas, because Texas people know we have good stuff. Right. So if you're not from Texas, please consider following them and, and, and seeing what they have, what we're, what they're showing, because right. end the prejudice. <laughs> right. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? Well, be nice to each other. I know. I don't. <laughs> I feel I so mean, bad for her. Texas has a bad reputation in politics and that right. sort of thing, which I am completely opposite of most <laughs> Texans. But now we can't even, like, be knitters? Or, right. Like, what? I'm already fighting against, like, the perception people have of Texans. Right. And then now we can't even sell yarn? I'm, right. I'm flabbergasted. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's insane to me. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So yes, I'm super excited about this promotion that they have. You know, this 
they're trying to like build a, a, a reputation and right. I love that right so yeah I agree so that's that's what's going on that's our in spiel Texas. yeah um okay so we have our giveaway we have a giveaway I already drew from the comment and um the winner I wrote it down because the name is actually like almost identical to the name of someone else who's a friend of ours who had commented mm-hmm. they have almost the same name <laughs> and I was like <laughs> That's not our friend. Okay, so here's the winner. Tara Mitchell. Yay! Our Tara. friend Terry Mitchell is probably super sad. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down because I had to prove it. And so, congratulations, Tara. If you will um, message me on Ravelry or Instagram or on YouTube, whatever, mm-hmm. and um, let me know your address, I will send you your prize package. Uh, Maybe I did. Oh, I know. Mm. I still want to keep this one. Right. Uh, you get this bag and this yarn and the stitch, the stitch marker. marker and the decal. One of a kind. Because you're one of a kind. And we love you. Yeah. Thank you for everyone who commented. It was oh, so fun. It was fun. And sh- her go-to gift, her answer was flowers. Oh. Mm-hmm. Which I was like, duh. Yeah. Everybody loves flowers. Like Everybody that's such a, flowers. you know, and I forget that. Mm-hmm. You think it's such a like man thing to give flowers, right. but you can, you can give flowers to a man or that's true. to a friend or whatever. So, mm-hmm. thanks for the reminder that flowers are always, they yeah. always fit. Yeah. <laughs> and we had some good, we had some good answers. It cracked me up because um, my next door neighbor also knits and she's in our knit group and watches the podcast. Hi, Tony. And she commented like, well, my go-to gift for kids is Legos. And I'm like, I can attest to that. <laughs> Both my kids have Legos from you. <laughs> right. So, um, so that was a fun. Read the read through. Even yeah. though you can't win anymore, read through the comments and get gift ideas. It was pretty. It was good. It was, it was knitting and non. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can still comment. You can still comment. Just We're just not going to. Yeah. For the, for the giveaway. Yeah. The giveaway is <laughs> closed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I think so, except we haven't done Weeby Freebie in a while. Oh, do you have some? I do have some. Weeby Freebie. And they are, a couple of them are time sensitive. Oh, good. So, there's the Fallen Moon Drops, and it's free until December 25th. That's pretty cool. It's a shawl that has some big yarn overs mm-hmm. in it, so I'm not sure how it happens. Um, it's Fallen Moon Drops by The Knitting Artist. And um, it is free with a code. Oh, that's right. And she is a Texas designer. <laughs> woo, woo. Mike drop. <laughs> <laughs> and she designed this for um, East Texas Fiber Fest, which was oh, yeah. two weeks ago. I was supposed ago. to go to that. Yes, I was too. But I didn't. <laughs> I didn't either. And another one that she designed is Morning Garden Stream, and it's a shawl that uses two colors, but I bet you could do it in one, and it has some simple um, mesh lace in, in one section. It's a triangle. Or it'd be a good way to use You're looking at it. It would be a good way that to use this. That's right. Yeah, it really would. Um, so this one I've had to tell y'all about for a while, but I, I think I need it, that. Right? It's called the Reading Rest. And it's oh my free, God. but what I was thinking people might be gifting tablets or getting tablets for Christmas uh-huh. and it is a tablet rest, which is pretty awesome. I'm really it's really downloading it right now. <laughs> and it, um, it How is, cool is that? right? You can use it for a book too, but it would have to be one that stays open, mm-hmm. but so it's by Frankie Brown. That's amazing. I think it's it would be so great for watching a podcast on your tablet. For those of you who aren't weirdos and don't watch us on your big screen, <laughs> which I still find horrifying. Right. <laughs> then um, just because we're close, and to you can Christmas, put your phone on that too. Oh, you totally could. totally yeah, or make a smaller one. Mhm. Um. So just because we're close to Christmas, I've been you know doing yeah. small gifting things. I'm I think I'm finished with my Christmas knitting, but. Um, mixed messages mitts is one that, um, is, it is super cute. It's are cute. Pretty simple. It does have a cable. It's by Carrie Oster and, um, but it's reverse stockinette and, um, they're short, you know, it's like wrist mm-hmm. to, to I love knuckles. that cable. And it just, it's, it's just 
cute and pretty. Mm -hmm. So, and they're, that's free all the time. Um, one more, if you want to give an accessory, um, this is a little purse. Oh, it's that's crocheted. <laughs> I think it's crocheted. Yes, it's crocheted. So for my crochet friends, yeah. um, it is the Raffia Chain Edge Clutch by Alexis Middleton. And, um, it, it's just, it's cute. cute. I, I don't know what it would be like to use. It might be yeah. How does it close? too lumpy like, or, um, it feels like it would just kind of flop open, but you could right. make a closure of some sort. And well, it may be closed. Here's what it looks know. like. I think it just folds over. Hmm. Um, it's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. You could put a snap probably if, you, if that was a, a problem. Mm, a snap. And the last but, one, because I forgot to mention it last time when I was talking about Daisy's sweater. Um, so yes, I made up a, a sweater pattern for, but if I make one again, I don't think I'm going to make it up. <laughs> um, because I found perfect fit dog and cat sweater pattern generator top down. And what it is, and I can't believe it's free, but what it is, is that she says this very simple design is worked top down, seamless in the round. Stitches are then picked up for bottom border and sleeves. Any size can be made from triple extra small to triple extra large or wow. any other. Simple calculations are given to determine the exact perfect pattern for your size dog. Any yarn and any gauge can be used. A perfect blank palette for creativity, add lace, intarsia, cables, etc. Wow. And adjust perfectly for our odd-shaped friends, such as bulldogs and pugs, or Daisy with her giant chest. <laughs> so, if I make one again, I'm going to use this pattern. And I love that pattern. The, the pattern picture is so cute. It's so cute. Yeah. I know. So, um, so it's free. Yeah. And, you know, it just seems perfect. So, very cool. That's there we go. amazing. That they put a lot of work in it. I know. And it's free. Wow. So, thank you, all of you yes. generous pattern makers that yes. give them away free. Totally. Yeah. Because that's a lifesaver sometimes. <laughs> right? Especially if you're doing charity knitting like yeah. a hat. Mm -hmm. Even though I have a ton of hat patterns in my library. <laughs> I know. I know I do, too. But <laughs> new ones are always fun. They are. So hopefully I'll have a finished sweater yeah, next time, that would and be hopefully awesome. I'll have new cast-ons because this time was weird. I know for me. Yeah, I've usually you I didn't, didn't have any new cast-ons except on. that ornament. Right. Weird, right? That is strange. Yeah. I'm trying to be monogamous. Yeah. Sort okay. of. <laughs> yeah. To an extent. Okay. So yeah. Congratulations okay. to our winner. Yeah. Um, we hope you all had a good holiday if you're in the U.S. and just a good week if you are not. Get ready for Christmas. Yeah. Remember to slay all day. <laughs> Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>